Hey y'all, it's Mikey. Welcome to the farm. So glad to have you with us today. We have a beautiful day here on the farm with a high of 84 here in South Carolina today. We had a little bit of rain this morning. It was nice and cool. I was able to get a little bit of clover spread out in one of the pasture areas. So hopefully that'll come up good for us. But today, hubby and I, we've got a lot of work in our gardens. Get ready for fall. We're working in the raised bed here off the back porch and hubby is pulling up all the sweet potatoes. We're gonna see how they did for us. And uh, you know, this year we planted them a little bit late, but we got them in there pretty much right on time. Looks like we got some little small ones coming up out of there. But hey, anything's better than nothing, right? All right, so we got a few sweet potatoes out. I hadn't dug them all out yet, but that's the biggest one so far. Um, I put some seven dust down on these this morning, the sweet potato vines and the tomatoes and bell peppers that was in here. We got some little worms that are eating everything slap alive. Even the sweet potato vines, they're eating everything up. They probably could have been down a little while longer, but with the way the worms are eating them up, we're just going to go ahead and fill them up and get rid of them and get something else better down in here. That's another thing to wear them. Guess that's going to be, uh, we got about one big sweet, one sweet potato off each slip. Not very good. All right, so I put up our uh, manure pile and got some of the cow manure. I've actually rotated throughout the year. I've moved the pile from one place, mixing it up to another place, mixing it up. So it's actually turned out pretty good. It's completely decomposed. And it looks really good, really good. So I'm going to take some of this and put it in here in the raised bed right here. And not certain which we haven't decided on what we're gonna plant in it yet, but we're going ahead and getting it ready for so whatever we decide to put in. is how busy it is around here we're just finally getting to this when did we start this project two months ago uh been a while i know it was uh right around the beginning of summer planting season yeah so yeah we just i started and another project that you move on to something else and it just has to wait till later I'm letting her do her own rocks because she's picky about how her rocks go. <laughs> Are you trying to say that I have a problem with uh, perfectionist, perfectionism? So I'm letting her organize her rocks how she wants them. I went and got them though and brought them down here to her. Put them right there, right there. So I did my part. So this is what we're going, this is what we was talking about before, what we was going to do. We're going to take uh, the little pea gravel, river stone, 
and put in here and fill in between the rocks and in between the stepping stones. And what the white stuff you see, that's the seven dust. Cause y'all, let me tell you, the ants is chewing us alive and we are out of ant poison. So the only thing we had left was some seven dust, so seven dust it was. Yeah, the ants were nasty. Yeah, every stone, everything you moved, the ants came out of it until the whole ground was covered in them and they was eating us alive, so. All the babies down there having some kind of secret meeting <laughs> and deciding they're going to try to all cross the bridge. I don't know which one's crazier, us or our critters. Yeah, that's the truth. She's got this bed pretty much cleaned out. Y'all can see she's done got all the weeds and stuff pulled. And uh, we got everything out of the bed right here. And... So I did make one accomplishment today, y'all. I was able to clean out my little whiskey barrels here. And I got some cauliflower planted in there. And the whiskey barrels, we still haven't planted anything in the raised bed yet. I'm still waiting and just kind of in my mind trying to figure out where I'm going to put stuff. Because I think this year in our garden area, because we had so many problems with the weeds and it needs to just, the, the soil needs to be worked really good. So we're going to do that over the winter months. And I think what we're going to end up doing, I'm going to utilize my flower bed areas and actually plant stuff for the fall uh, in my flower bed areas and utilize just a small section of one of our gardens and uh, plant some more stuff for fall and uh, so then that way we can have the rest of the garden to just really work up the soil for next year hopefully we will have things do better for us um, and get that soil worked up really good get it fertilized and i'm looking forward to what we accomplish next year out of our garden after we really get in there and and get that worked up good yeah and i know we got some uh let me see broccoli some kale some cauliflower some cabbage turnips turnips what else broccoli cauliflower carrots Kale, cabbage, turnips. Seems like there's something else too. Yeah. Co well, we'll let y'all. I can't remember. Yeah, we'll let y'all know when we figure out what it is. Our minds are kind of all over the place with this. What we do where? <laughs> yeah, this is turning out good. Like this bed right here, y'all can see right there. All that is the uh, shavings and chicken manure that was in the brooder that we had inside. So we dumped that stuff in our garden yeah. and little garden areas and let it right down using this fertilizer. And uh, we do have the, she's got the two squash plants right there. They're actually still doing good. We're debating on what to do with them. Maybe take them inside or make a little greenhouse. A greenhouse is something we've been wanting for a long time and uh, are trying to make arrangements to get one built we'll build it but uh just trying to acquire the materials and stuff like that ants are already getting it yeah don't feed the ants i've been feeding them all day oh my goodness i tried to pick out the small ones that would make the best little things to go down but that's turning out really pretty yeah you can't beat free rocks no no so these were here we utilized dug them up and uh these were the ones that actually that we had around the pool that we took down to extend our pasture area because they need it more than we need it so. yeah 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 
uh, hubby got tired of paying for all the chemicals. Yeah, she actually, today it started raining this morning, y'all, a little bit, sprinkling this morning. So she actually went out there and covered the lower end of the upper pasture with some uh, clover seed. Yeah. So we threw out a couple of pounds of clover. Yeah, got that done. process. Yeah, it is. We'll get it. Well, that's you know, looking that's really good. Thing, you know, what gets done gets done, and it always gives you something to work on, and, uh, you know, there's never a dull moment. <laughs> no. It's always something to do. Yes. And, uh, that it is. We don't like being too idle around here. No, no. That's looking really good, though, the way it's going. Yeah. Then we'll get them couple bags of rock. We got the rock. The rock's been sitting right there for, what, two months, three months, something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll get it. If the bags don't, but they're probably dry rotted. <laughs> probably. And I'm sure they're probably full of ants. Yeah. That's all right. I think we put grass seed in the garden, so might as well put some ants out, too. That's what it sure felt like we put in the garden this year. Threw some grass seed out. Y'all can see how good that's going, though. That's looking really good. Let's go stop right there, and then we'll put the um, pea gravel in it. I like that. That's going to be pretty, doesn't it? At least, your, at least your little herb garden is separated. And we got some of the little rocks over here. I don't know if y'all can see them right there. They were separating where the cucumbers were growing. So they were going down there and making kind of a bed. So that's going to look really good. Really good. Here come all the chickens. They said they're going to come get the ants for you. I wish they would. I wish they would too. We need an anteater. All right. I'll let hubby put down the pebbles in between my stepping stones. But... We, we didn't this. finish right there for no. right now. We're going to go ahead and get this done, and then we'll go back and finish right in there. Yeah, that end, the, uh, the retaining wall blocks, they have dropped down, so yeah. we want to level them up. I leveled the one right at the end of the step, but I got to get these three down here, right and here the ants are so bad. bad. about this little area. This is new over here. Hubby and I just recently kind of built up this area and put a couple of herbs and other little flowers and stuff in here. So this hasn't been here that long and we just haven't just haven't finished it all. But it's getting there. Yeah. Oh, and a black with a spider. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Look at all those things. Yeah, that's what we've been dealing with all day.
pretty good. Good job. Y'all look at how good that turned out. Like I said, we had to stop right there because we got to fix those three wall retaining blocks right there. They got down too deep. But that turned out pretty. I like that. One project almost completed. Probably be able to finish that up tomorrow. Just let all these ants get situated back down or that seven dust kill them tonight. All right, I'm going to show you all how to make some uh, easy meal. We've been outside all day and working and making that walkway and the flower bed and everything. And uh, I came up here and it's already 6.06, so it's kind of late. And this will be an easy meal. It's, I'm sure you can look it up online. It's called game day sandwiches. It's where you take the bread and slice it in half and put ham and Swiss cheese on it and the mustard and Worcestershire sauce, sauce mixed together. So I'm gonna make those really quick and pop them in the oven and give us something nice and warm to eat tonight. And uh, so we could settle down and relax a little bit and there's all these ant bites that we got covered in while we was working outside today. And y'all were just both really tired from work, all the work today. So this will be quick and easy and let's go ahead and get this done. So what I'm gonna do is just take and put a stick of butter in the pot. And uh, she's over here watching some of her favorite YouTube channel. So, hey y'all, um, hubby is making us a quick meal for supper tonight, and let me show y'all who I've got on live. Henry, oh, almost a green acre. Hello, hello. Can y'all see? Keep coming in, folks. Keep them coming in. Karen at Flash Ministries. Lila Newton, how are you? So, if y'all have not checked this channel out, Make sure you go and check out Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa. Great channel. So they're on live right now and I'm catching up with them. So, hubby, you do a good job on supper now. I told y'all he can cook. He can cook good. He's got y'all propped up on a cucumber. <laughs> I don't think this is working, hubby. Oh. I messed it up. It's all right. I'll okay. I think y'all are good. So I'll catch y'all in just a few minutes. I'm going to go run and catch up with Mr. Jesse and Miss Lisa. All right, so I'll move y'all around here just a little bit so y'all can see the pot. All right, I put a stick of butter in there, and what I'm going to do is just put some Worcestershire sauce, and it's kind of a mix to your taste Worcestershire sauce, mustard. Uh, you need enough to coat both sides of the rolls once you slice them in half and put your hand and stuff on them. So you'll need enough to cut, cover both of them. So I got two packs and I'm going to bring over here and uh, Tootsie's in here helping me cook and Crescent and uh, Tucker. So, hey little girl. And um, I know you want to say hey to everybody. You want to say hey to everybody? Yeah. You're a good girl. You good girl. All right, let me cook. Um, no, don't get that hot. That's hot, don't do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rolls and bring them over here and slice them in half. Gee, so that's the plain old Sarah Lee Hawaiian sweet rolls. Y'all, I use these old, this cheap paint brushes. You buy them at Lowe's. They work perfect for stuff like this. Stuff like this, uh, basting a turkey, you can dip the broth. 
um, put the sausage on stuff, barbecue on stuff. And I've had this one around, you see it's kind of puffed out, it's been here a while. And uh, they're cheap, they're like 99 cents. The only ingredients you need is the Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of mustard. And I stopped by. And have the ham, just two packs of ham. And two packs of the Swiss cheese. You can probably use any cheese you want. We like these, so I just always get the Swiss cheese. All right, let me go ahead and add some of Like I say, there's a stick of butter in here, and you're just gonna put if you're going to use for two packs of those, it's probably honestly about a cup of Worcestershire sauce and about a half a cup of mustard. I'm just going to put enough in here to see what I got. I don't measure things. Most guys probably don't. Uh, put a little bit of garlic powder in here. Just a little bit. You don't want it overpowering. And then put a little bit of mustard. I think a mustard lasts forever around here. Because the only time we about use mustard is if we got hot dogs or something. So I can actually actually stir it out around with my little brush. I like cooking stuff on the barbecue grill and I like making stuff like this, just quick, easy stuff. That I love like a steak and potato. I'm a steak and potato guy or a cheeseburger. And I always save your bag because whatever sandwiches you don't eat, you can put them right back in the bag and put them in the refrigerator and have them the next day. So I already set the oven on 350 up there. So it's warming up. And you take your knife and cut right down. Cut right down the middle of them. Got your whole one side and your whole bottom half. And let me get this warmed up here. So like I say on this, this is kind of everybody's taste you might want to add a little more Worcestershire sauce you might want to add a little bit more butter you might want to add a little bit more garlic powder or a little bit more mustard um it's just kind of mixed to taste they're easy and they're really good so we'll probably get some like potato chips or something like that and cook with them and i mean to eat excuse me to eat with them and um, it's a nice, good supper, warm supper, quick supper. So let me get all this mixed up and I'll show y'all if I put the stuff on there, it's gonna take a little bit. I don't wanna bore y'all sitting here waiting on butter to melt and everything. So I'll get y'all right back. That stuff's ready. So now what we're gonna do is take the brush and just brush it right on. 
Y'all probably can't see that, so I'll pick y'all up here in just a second. See, I got it on the on the bread like that. I still gotta coat this one a little bit more. But you put it on there, and um, I'm trying to think of a way to get you all up here so you all can see. Still might not be able to see. Let me cut the board out of the way. See, this one's the ham. Lay the ham out on it. If you buy too much ham, I always buy a lot of extra ham because uh, I like to make lunch with it, make sandwiches for lunch, so it's not going to go to waste. Who don't like Swiss cheese, y'all? I love Swiss cheese. Evidently getting a little cheap with the Swiss cheese. They didn't put as much Swiss cheese as normal on the thing. Um, so. but that's all right. We got plenty. I got some American in there too. So get that on there. Save that for the next batch. Need a little bit more of that sauce on here. Put them back on there. I have to move them. All right, the oven's ready. And then what I like to do, y'all, I like to just go ahead and cut them. A lot of people will bake them and then cut them. I like to just go ahead and cut them. That way they're already individual little sandwiches and they're already ready. Made and you ain't got to sit here and try to cut on a hot thing. So let me get my cutting board back over here. individual little sandwiches and I did y'all why I had y'all cut off I discovered I had some tater tots she loves tater tots so I'm gonna cook some tater tots with these instead of eating potato chips and just have one more thing nice and warm and uh, let me get these all put on here and 
then I'll bring y'all back along and show y'all because I got another batch of these to make and uh, show y'all how that goes. All right, y'all. So there you have it. You got some game day sandwiches. They got the uh, Worcestershire sauce and the stuff on them and the Swiss cheese. And uh, I'm going to cut some tater tots. And Tucker said he approves of it. He's been eating some of the scraps that I kind of, they accidentally fall on the floor. Ain't that right, Tucker? Some scraps accidentally fall on the floor. What you think, Tucker? He said make some more accidentally fall on the floor, Daddy. So they make good uh, vacuum cleaners. Everybody buys them little uh, uh, robot vacuum cleaners. Well, we got five vacuum cleaners and nothing stays on this floor. <laughs> they get everything up. So uh, I'm gonna get these in the oven. The oven's ready and I'm gonna get the tater tots going and I'm going to show y'all that. Uh, I think I might make some, might make some baked beans with this. So this is gonna be a hubby supper. It's just real quick. Next time I'll make y'all some like pork chops or something like that. Maybe some fried pork chops or some baked pork chops. Don't know. This is whatever, whatever I'm going to, we go grocery shopping. Floats my boat and I see for the day that I might possibly want or she might possibly want. And so I'll bring y'all along on that meal too. But uh, let me get this going. I just wanted to show y'all them finished sandwiches. They haven't been baked yet. So we'll get them in there. What you think, Tucker? Tucker said he wants one now. So what I try to do, I try to wash the dishes as I cook when I get through cooking so there's not a mess laying around and nothing else left except that saucepan I still gotta wash. On the weekends and stuff like that, I try to wash, make sure I wash dishes. I wash dishes during the week. But um, I try to help her pick up, whether it be laundry, full clothes, anything like that, because it's a shared responsibility. I go to work during the week. She stays here taking care of the house during the week, keeping it spotless and clean and stuff like that, keeping everything up. And, you know, she probably needs a break too. So, like on the weekends, I go out and feed her animals for her and try to let her relax and enjoy a cup of coffee and um, let her catch up on videos and stuff like that and just try to give her a break. And that's what it is in marriage. You, try, you help each other. You don't just expect the other person to do this or that. You help each other out and step up and, and, and do some responsibilities. Don't wait to be asked about it. Help her back, and that's what I do. I'll back in on the weekends or something so she don't have to. And just try to give her a break because she deserves it by working all day. Keeping up with all these animals and keeping up with the house. And I'm sure y'all can hear the puppies barking. Two of them's inside, three of them's out, well, four of them's outside. And one of them's always constantly barking about something. So I got Tucker and Tootsie Crescent in here running around and Rocky there and Doodles and uh, Shep's outside. So. so guys, step up, help your wives, help do something. It's not their responsibility. That's what marriage is. It's a, it's a two-party thing. It's a, it's a shared responsibility. Don't leave stuff. Clean up behind yourselves and uh, don't leave a mess and for somebody else to clean up and help each other out. I'm gonna cuss because they ain't gonna stop barking. Y'all, I just had to show y'all this. Tucker decided he was gonna eat himself a cucumber. Yeah, didn't he? While I was cooking and not paying attention to you, he stole a cucumber. He wants it back. But let me show y'all what he did right here. He took it in here and sheared it up all over the couch. Tucker. You need to clean up your mess. All right, everybody, it's done. Look at them sandwiches. They are good with that melted Swiss cheese on them. And then the beans here have bell pepper, bacon, and barbecue sauce on them. They just come out the oven. They smell so good. And then you got a water of tater tots over here. They ain't homemade, but I call them homemade. I made them at home, so they're homemade. All right, y'all, I got to take a minute here to brag on the missus. She, if y'all remember back a couple videos, we tried our hand, well, she tried her hand at pickling some okra. And y'all all know that I do not like okra, period, except unless it's pickled or something like that. Well, this, we've already been in it, y'all. This is the best pickled okra 
I've ever had. I've been eating when I come home from work. I eat them like candy. I'll pick two or three or four out of it and eat them. I mean, they are really good. She did an outstanding job on the pickled okra. So uh, that's the first jar. That's the first jar that she's got there that we just can. And um, they are really good. They got all that seasoning in the bottom of them and you can see the garlic clove down in there. Got a couple of garlic cloves down in it. They are outstanding. So hats off to her. She did an outstanding job with that over. And I'm sure everything else that she uh, canned is outstanding. I know the gems and jellies that she's doing because I've already, I think, went through two jars of her fig preserves. So, um, well, y'all, we're going to sit down and enjoy this supper. I hope y'all have a wonderful night, and thanks for coming along with me, and God bless. I'll see you on the next video.